State media in Iran say that 16 gunmen and 11 security force members have been killed in fighting in the southeast of the country. Gunmen carried out simultaneous attacks on Revolutionary Guard bases in two cities in Sistan, Baluchistan province. The government's blaming a separatist group seeking greater rights for the Baluch minority. We have Dorsa Jabari now who's joining us from Tehran to tell us about uh, what you're hearing about uh, this development, Dorsa. Well, Doreen, this is one of the deadliest attacks carried out by this uh, separatist group known as Jaish al-Adla, also known as the Army of Justice. This is a separatist group that was formed in 2012, and they've carried out a number of attacks in Sistan Baluchistan province in Iran, but this is the first time they've carried out a simultaneous attack uh, on a number of uh, military uh, bases, including the Revolutionary Guard bases of police stations in two cities, Chabahar and Rusk, in that province. This is being seen as a extremely uh, in dangerous uh, situation because the gunmen opened fire and they tried to storm these uh, military compounds and stations. And then there was a hostage situation that ensued and it, the situation went on throughout uh, many hours. And just in the past uh, hour, we've heard from officials in that province saying that it is now in control of the areas that the gunmen stormed and that they are um, returning a, a number of civilians to their homes. Prior to the attack, there was a warning issued by this group online urging citizens to remain home and not to come out and that they were going to carry out an operation in that area. This, is, of course, comes at a very uh, important time in Iran where uh, the tensions are very high as a result of the attack that was carried out on the Revolutionary Guard commanders in Syria. So this breach of security in that province yet again highlights the vulnerabilities that Iran faces along its border with Pakistan. And, of course, it's something officials would be looking at very closely. All right. Thank you so much, Dorsa Jabari, for that update from Tehran.